All right, the LSU football team is off to a great four. How about that? 4 0 start with an SEC rival coming to Tiger Stadium Saturday night. But of course, before the game, there's the acclaimed Golden Band from Tigerland. And this year, the drum major is a patient, determined local product from Brother Martin. Mike Haas spent the afternoon with the band recently and joins us tonight with a special down the street, up the interstate. That's true. We had to go up the interstate for this one, and all of them. These kids worked so hard, and it has been so hot. Work on that, Carl, if you don't mind. <laughs> they start in August, just like the football team. Practice every hot afternoon, learning new songs and marches. And it is the Tiger Band setting the tone before each home game. And the young man leading the way is savoring every second. It is a brutally hot late September Thursday afternoon rehearsal before a Saturday night Tiger game in Death Valley and senior drum major Bo Bujol already has his game face on. But then again, the brother Martin graduate had it on when he joined the Golden Band from Tigerland four years ago. Bo is a guy that um, you know lives for this band. His effort on the field is unmatched. I wouldn't imagine this being the year has been, this is my last year at LSU, being the way it is without being drum major. It's a dream come true. LSU's drum major is selected after a grueling week-long audition process. And while the position might appear ceremonial, it is anything but. Push through the fatigue, make sure that works out much better. Especially after the band leaves the field. He's that direct line of communication between us and them, along with the planning, facilitating, administering curriculum throughout the summertime. It's fully engrossed. And it is only after the drum major salute that we get those four notes. For those scoring at home, that's B flat, B flat, B flat, D. Just four notes, but to LSU, the LSU faithful, the LSU community, and across the nation, it means so much more than just four notes. Despite this being his fourth year with the Tiger Band, Bo didn't know what to expect for the band's traditional march down Victory Hill to the stadium. As the piccolo section leader, he's been the very last spot in the giant parade block. Not anymore. Marching down the hill for the first time, as soon as you turn around that roundabout and see just all those people, and they're just there to see the band. It's such, it, I had goosebumps going up and down my body. I might have not given a reaction, but it was like, oh my gosh, this is real. Good leaders lead. The very best do so to celebrate the work of others. And the thing I'm most fortunate of is being able to represent my peers and my friends in the band because they work so hard. I want my time as drum major to represent all the great things about every single member of this band. It's a humbling experience. One, two, three, LSU Tigers. Nice job, guys. Hey! The Tiger Band is on 325 strong. They start each game day about 8 o'clock in the morning. Rehearse, rehearse, play Greek theater, pregame, come down the hill, halftime, after the game. And at 11 o'clock, some 14 hours later, Bo and wow. members of the band go back and watch video of halftime. Really? I didn't know. Because they want to get well, better. It is a like full that. gig. They all work very, very hard. And so, that was last Thursday, so I was up there. So they're working and practicing all their routines, and they were doing The Office. My kids love it. We've right. been watching it. And so, you know, we didn't talk about it because it hadn't happened yet, but on Saturday night, this thing's really blown up. Right, it's all yeah. over social media. Yeah. And we have wow. a little bit of it. Let's take a look. Halftime show just lit up social media, and several members of the Office cast have commented. John Krasinski played Jim Halpert on the show, and he tweeted, "Okay, this is awesome." <laughs> Angela Kinsey, who played Angela on the Office, tweeted, "Some of the Office love from Louisiana. Go Tigers!" Angela was born in Lafayette, so that's why she knows the proper spelling of "Go Tigers." And Kevin from the Office, Brian Brian Baumgartner, tweeted, "This is awesome. What school is this? Because I think I need to visit." Well, LSU fans were quick to invite him to their tailgates and requested he bring some chili. <laughs> it's funny how much more popular it is today. Yeah, it's incredible. For sure.